Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because any day that I'm trying on lipstick is, I don't know, it just brings happiness to me. And I hope that it will bring happiness to you as well. If you are new here, welcome. So great to have you. Please do feel free to check out my videos and if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. Another thing that I want to say is thank you to everyone who's been participating in the international giveaway. If you haven't entered yet, it's not too late. It runs till the end of September, so you've still got a couple of days. I'll leave the link to the video here somewhere so that you can go check it out. You need to do something really simple, like all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, share it on a social media network if you want it counted twice, so you have double the chance, and then comment saying what you are grateful for. I have loved reading each and every one of your entries. It just brings you down to earth and you feel so humbled knowing that every one of us are going through something but even then there are still things that we can be grateful for if you are going through something and you are struggling to find something to be grateful for honestly i urge you to go to that video and just have a read of everyone's comments because it speaks on different levels to different people so Go check that out. Now this video is sort of like a continuation from the last video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link here somewhere. Because in that one I showed you three beautiful looking lipsticks, but I told you guys that I was going to do a separate video trying them out. And guess what? I did not lie. I've got those three beauties right here. So these are the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. And I got three different colors. One of them is Joyride, one of them is Ladies Night, and the other one Graduation Day. Now obviously these are matte lipsticks, so if you're not a fan of matte lipsticks but still love the colors, then what you can do is actually wear this but put some clear gloss over it. Right, so let's get to these lipsticks. I think packaging wise they were really really smart it looks really chic and it's got like a magnet so it clicks on i love the shape of it as well like look at the contours that it has um and i don't know why i do this but i always smell lipsticks do you guys do that too just me okay i think mac lipsticks have the best smell but these ones are not too bad like they smell very coconutty these are the three that I'm gonna try out so I'm gonna bring you guys a bit closer first up is graduation day You know how I said it's a matte lipstick? It feels so creamy on my lips, so I feel like even if you hate matte lipstick, you wouldn't mind this. <laughs> it's very buildable as well, so you guys saw that I used it on my bare lips. I didn't use any lip pencils or anything. Even then, it looks even on my upper and lower lips. And there's not a lot of lipsticks that can do that. So I love the pigment. I love the creaminess of the application. I think the formulation is really, really nice. And it feels really lightweight as well. So you can kind of tell that you're wearing lipstick, but it's not overbearing. And can we just talk about the color. This is like one of my favorite colors for a lipstick. So I'm so glad that I got this because when I bought them, I didn't completely know what I was in for, but so freaking happy with this. Next up is Joyride. So compared with the 
previous one. This is a bit more lighter. Like this is a color that I would wear with a lip liner just because I feel like I can see the pigment of my upper lip a bit more than last one. Some people don't like this kind of look on brown skin, like on their own brown skin, just because they might think, oh, does it sort of wash you out? But I think the trick with these is using lip liner. Still happy with it, still doable with my skin color. Who doesn't love a good nude? The last one is Ladies Night. This is like a really deep plum red color that again will suit brown skin really really well. It's kind of similar to Diva by MAC but I feel like this has more of a plum element to it. So yeah really really happy with it because I have been wanting another plum or like a deep red color really really bad and I guess I found it. And with these dark lip colors, you can just like what I've done, um, you can do a simple eye look, just, you know, two colors, or you can make it more party friendly by smoking it out a little bit as well. Kind of feel like I want to add graduation day on top of it just to mute the boldness a little bit. Honestly, I highly recommend that you do mix lipsticks because Sometimes that gives the best result for your skin color. So what's the verdict? Well, I was actually pleasantly surprised because I thought this would feel really dry and heavy, but no, it was really creamy, really easy to apply and really easy to take off as well. My favorite has to be what I'm wearing right now, which is graduation day. I freaking love this color. I also love ladies night because you know, some days you just want to feel sexy and I feel like Ladies Night does that. And Joyride, I still love, but I would definitely use a lip pencil for that. With Graduation Day, uh, my MAC lip pencil in the color Absolutely It complemented this really well. So I am wearing a bit of that lip liner with this lipstick. So if you do have this lip pencil, Definitely don't need anything else because these two complement each other really well. Let me know what you guys think as well, which one you liked the best. And if you have bought other colors, please let me know what you think of those. Before I end this video, I want to give you guys a few little tips. If you have dry lips, if you have thin lips, and if you have pigmented lips and pigmented skin around the mouth, because I feel like that's such a big problem with brown skinned girls and it's something that I suffer with as well. So I thought I would give you guys a few tips that I have learned over time and I hope they're helpful. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to prepare the lips before you put the lipstick on. So what I've done is I've actually put makeup on but I haven't put anything over the mouth area. So the first thing that I would advise you guys to do is actually exfoliate your lips and there's a lot of things out there that you can buy but you can easily make it yourself as well so what I've got here is a bit of coconut oil I've just added a bit of brown sugar into it you can add other things as well like some people add honey and sugar and that's a really great combination and what this does is the sugar crystals actually exfoliate the skin so it takes away those dead skin cells the dry cracked stuff that's on our lips while if you put honey or if you put coconut oil that actually provides moisture to your lips. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just gently rub it all over my lips. I probably look like a retard but you know for you guys I would do this. After you're done you can actually take a tissue paper and just wipe it. Um, alternatively you can just wash it off as well and you can see that it gives the lips kind of like a bit of blush as well because you've been gently rubbing it. 
but now when you just feel your lips it's gonna be so smooth obviously if you have really bad cracked lips you might need to do it a few times over a course of a week to see good results another holy grail thing of mine is lip balm Honestly, I could not live without this. And I have always told you guys about this product over so many videos on my channel. And this is the Lucas Purple Ointment. So what I do is before I put makeup on, I just put a little bit of this. And it doesn't really give like too much of a sheen as well. It just gives a lot of moisture without a lot of hassle. <laughs> I'll leave details of this down in the description box below so that you guys can check it out and see if it's available where you are. And honestly, wearing lip balm is the easiest thing that you can do to avoid dry cracked lips. It's easier to prevent it rather than trying to resolve it. Now that we've got our lips kind of sorted, I want to sort out this pigmentation around the mouth. There's a few things that you can do to kind of get rid of the pigmentation. I mean, I'm not talking about chemical peels and things like that. I'm talking about how to sort of cover it up before you use foundation. Because what happens if you just put foundation over pigmented skin is that it can actually look slightly ashy and the best thing that I think for this is color correction so this is the LA girl pro conceal corrector in the color orange obviously depending on the amount of pigmentation you might have to use a bit more um, I use it on the sides of my lips as well and then what I do is I just take my finger and blend it. I'm going to leave a link to one of my old videos where I explained what color correcting is. So have a look at that if you're not sure about what I'm talking about. Before you put foundation over this, what you want to do is actually set that with a powder. And what I use is setting powder and this is the Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder which I love. I loosely just sit over the area that I put my color correction on. You guys would have seen my recent post where I tried on a really good foundation and a concealer so I'm gonna be using that again and those are my Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation in the color 60 CG and my Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in the color 60WR. And you can already see that it doesn't give that ashy look. One thing that I also like doing is actually putting the foundation onto my lips. I'm just going to quickly put the concealer as well on my Cupid's bow. On the sides very slightly and then underneath. Again, just make sure that you set your foundation, especially over your mouth, because otherwise it's very easy for lines to form. So the next tip that I'm gonna give you is lip liners. Lip liners, lip liners, lip liners. I feel like that's one of my saving graces for my pigmented lips, because what it does is, one, if you have dry cracked lips, it kind of reduces that chance of the lipstick bleeding out into the skin. Two, it neutralizes the upper and lower lips. I have to say the only lip liners I own are MAC lip liners. I, I don't know if that's because I'm just comfortable with it or I'm just too lazy to branch out but I'll tell you guys which ones I have in my collection. Let's go with this one first which is the Ruby Woo lip pencil which is this color. It's a gorgeous red and I always wear it before I use a red lipstick. So that is cork which is a beautiful brown color. The other one is absolutely it which is also one of my favorites. But the one that I use the most is my MAC Spice Lip Pencil, which you guys would have seen a lot. I'm gonna take my Spice Lip Pencil and I'm gonna start at the corners. What I'm gonna do is when I come to the middle bits, I'm gonna go slightly over my lip border just to make it look a bit plump. Especially for those of you who have really thin lips, 
this is a good trick but just make sure you don't overline your lips in the corners it should only be in the center around here and you can see here that it's just neutralized it. I sometimes just use the lip liner and a bit of gloss maybe. Honestly, if you're a brown girl like me and you have pigmented lips, I feel like you would love the MAC Spice lip liner. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it was helpful, both the lipstick component and the tips. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to participate in the international giveaway which is going to end at the end of this month. Good luck! I love reading your comments again so please keep them coming. Love you guys so so much and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye guys!